start making lines. Add some of the stitching. Ah! I'm gonna show you guys how to draw a denim. So this is what it looks like up close. Of course, it's not perfect, but it does do the job in making it look like denim. Yes. You can use whatever you want for this. I'm personally just doing a little square. And these are the pencils that I'm gonna be using. The orange is optional. This is for the threading, but you honestly don't need to put that in there. What you're gonna wanna do first is completely fill this entire thing with your light blue. Don't need to apply tons and tons of pressure you just need to cover the entire thing ah! what? okay done so now that we have got our little blue square I'm next gonna go in with this color this is the 9031 and I'm gonna have all my shadows on this side and all my highlights on this side so I'm gonna go in just kind of softly with this color just to create like a bit of more of a shadow. This is just gonna add a little bit more depth so that the fabric doesn't look completely flat. Of course, if your fabric is like folded and stuff, you're gonna need to do this anyways um, to really create that texture. This is just basically creating a basic gradient, just applying pressure at the very edge here and just slowly really like going a lot softer into the middle and you just get a nice gradient. I'm now just gonna go back in with this blue just to blend some little harsher parts out. I'm just using circular motions. This just kind of evenly spreads the color across and just makes it blend out a lot smoother. So the good thing about drawing denim, everything doesn't need to be all smoothly blended out because denim has a lot of texture to it anyways. So now we're gonna start adding in the darker color. I'm just going in with black and I'm just outlining this side. And I'm also just gonna kind of outline around here. And I'm just gonna really softly start to blend this out a little bit to go into the dark blue, especially in this corner here. Okay, now we've done that, I'm gonna then take this navy blue. This is the 151. And I'm just gonna go into where that black is and I'm just gonna really start to like kind of blend this out a little bit just to create the gradient between the black and the blue. There, now this is the fun part. So if you kind of tilt your paper a little bit so you're at an angle, you're gonna take this color, this is the 153, this is the kind of dark turquoise color, and you're just gonna start making lines. They don't need to be perfectly straight, just make a whole bunch of lines going this way. And they don't need to be like fully across the page, it can be halfway and then another half. Just put them all over the page. Again, does not need to be perfect, just kind of eyeballing it. Okay, now that we've done that, just gonna add a couple over here. We're gonna then tilt our page to the other side and we're gonna do the exact same thing, but we're gonna do it going the other way now. Again, does not need to be perfectly straight. Okay, now that we've done that, I'm gonna go back in with my dark blue color and just in between some of these, just to kind of define some of them, just in really random sections. I'm just gonna add some of these lines. I'm just going one way, I'm not gonna do them going both ways. I'll even take a little bit of black as well. I'm doing this really softly, especially at the edges here, where it's really dark, where you can't really see the blue that well. Um, I'm just gonna go in, and then I'm just gonna go this way as well. I want to do like some little gathered parts, so I'm just gonna take this dark blue, and just for some areas, I'm just gonna add wee patches of this. Really going heavy on that so that it shows up. Now I'm gonna take my white pencil and I'm gonna start to add some highlights. I'm gonna add highlights along the top because this is where we said that our highlights would be coming in from. Then I'm just gonna go in between some of the lines and I'm just gonna add some wee white lines. Um, for our highlights pretty much. I'm not gonna add these all over, especially not towards the bottom because obviously that's where our shadows are. I'm just gonna go back in with this little pencil and I'm just gonna kind of add like a bit of like a harsh line here, just underneath the white, just to really make the white kind of pop out. And a little bit of black down here. I'll do the same at the top here. And then I'll just blend that out with some of the blue. Okay, now this part is completely optional, but I'm just gonna take this orange and I'm just gonna start to add some of the stitching 
by just doing like little, just little lines going across. This is really easy to do. And it just kind of like, I mean, it's not like super in your face obvious sort of thing, but you can still see it. And it just really helps add to the whole like texture that we're going for of the denim. And yeah, that's pretty much it. That is how I do my denim. Here is a wee side-by-side -side comparison for you guys. As you can see, this is literally the same technique that I used. Obviously, like this is just a wee patch, whereas this is literally dungarees. Um, so you would just apply this to whatever you're drawing, if it's jeans, if it's a top, if it's a jacket, if it's dungarees, if you happen to be drawing minions. That is literally how you do it. It's super easy, super basic, but it's really effective, especially when you do it on rather than just like a wee small square if you have it on something that actually looks like a bit of clothing. And if you like this video, make sure to give it a wee thumbs up and subscribe to our YouTube channel for some more of these videos. I'll see you guys next time. Bye. Thank you for watching.